Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Star Sector. I'm Delta and in this playthrough we are role playing as a vicious pirate captain. We are currently on our way back to our home system as there are two invasion fleets coming in to try to take back one of the worlds that we conquered. So here's the first one, this Tritech fleet coming in to try to invade Chalcodon. We are going to defend. Um, by that one, I mean we're going to smash their fleet to pieces. They are fielding an Atlas class carrier, which is a capital ship, and I would absolutely love to capture that, so hopefully we'll be lucky. What else have they got? They've got another Heron carrier, a Harbinger Phase Destroyer, a Medusa, a Shrike, Tempest, what is like a Scarab, and an Omen. So some pretty high tech ships, but none of them have um, S mods, and I think we should be able to take this on pretty effectively with our Odyssey. And I think for the moment we're also going to, we're not going to bring the Doom, we'll bring in a couple of carriers of our own, and a couple of Medusas and a couple of Sunder Destroyers along with Frigate Support. We will send our Tempest out to capture points so we can deploy more ships. And we're going to ask our Destroyers to escort uh, the Odyssey. I'm actually a big fan of this Odyssey, it's a lot of fun to fly. It's nice and fast for a capital ship. It has a huge amount of um, destructive power in its beam weapons and it also carries a monstrous array of um, missiles. The triple Sabo pod medium mounts mean you can fire at least six Sabo missiles at once which is enough to flux up the shields of almost any ship in the game. And then we've got that uh, Hurricane large missile slot as well which is just such a good finisher. And combined with the beam weapons it's pretty formidable. However, for this fight, I thought I would fly my trusty old Sunder into battle with the Auto Pulse and Phase Lance combo because it's just so good at chasing down enemy destroyers and frigates and doing that to them. And I thought it would be um, a nice trip down memory lane. I haven't flown the Sunder in a while. Enemy Medusa is being advanced upon by our destroyer pack. They've got quite a few fighters. Luckily, we do have excellent point defense on the Medusas. Each of them carrying four point defense lasers. We also have Tempest coming in with their Terminator drones, also excellent point defense. Okay, I can see their Heron carry just to the top left of the screen there. That will be a priority, but I want to try and kill this Medusa first. They have an Omen coming in to provide support for it, but Omen's not going to be able to do too much on its own. A lot of trouble and it goes down. Fighters coming in again from the Heron. Uh, I can see they've got both their carriers right next to each other and I think they've lost most of the support so we're going to go in and try and kill them off. The faster we can get rid of the threat from their fighters the easier this will be for us. So the Odyssey's coming in, it's going to put pressure on this Heron. It's going to take a Hurricane to the face but most of that went on its shield. So the Astral does have quite good armament as well, being a good carrier. We don't want to get too close to it. Hurricane's going all over the place. Our heron is under a lot of pressure. Flux is getting very, very high. I'm going to get overloaded here and I'm just going to have to back off and uh, wait for that to go down again. Heron's also been overloaded. Looks like the Tempest are going to try and finish him off. Or maybe the Sunder. Well, can I do it myself? Yes, I can. Okay. So it's just the Atlas left along with a couple of small ships. Reaper comes in, I think it's destroyed by point defense. He's using his hurricanes, but uh, again, shielded enemies, hurricanes are not that great. Medusas and Sunder surrounding the Atlas. Can't shoot all of us at once, and neither can fighters. Odyssey beams coming in, we got more Sabos. And that is the end of the Atlas. Now let's hope it can be recovered. It has broken into pieces, but that doesn't always seem to um, matter too much when the game works out which ships can be recovered and which can't. So we're going to speed up just while we chase off these final few craft, but I think they're probably going to all retreat. All except for this omen that gets destroyed. And I think we will chase after their cargo ships because I would love to capture that atlas as well. Just send some falcons after that, along with a couple of destroyers. So we've got everything they had except one of their fuel tenders. Ah, 
Well, we managed to recover the Atlas. It's going to cost us a story point. I don't think it's worth spending the point on the Harbinger as well. But I definitely want this Atlas. And we've got a little bit of salvage. And that's one invasion fleet destroyed. There is a second one coming. I believe it's Ludwig Church. Uh, six days until they arrive in the system. So I think we will just repair. And maybe we can refit this Atlas. Okay, so we have a couple of demods. It will need restoring. But as you can see, it can carry six wings of fighters, which is double what a Heron can do. It also has a large missile slot and a few medium uh, energy weapon slots. Unfortunately, we don't quite have the funds to restore it. Um, the war against the Brazilian League has proved to be rather costly. We spent about four and a half million since it began. But some of that money has been invested into our fleet, so it shouldn't take us too long to um, build up our cash reserves again because we are going to want to do that so where is this second fleet? I do like seeing these little pirate trade convoys flowing around for some reason this little trade fleet is um, running away from us I guess we're that fierce my pirate that even our our little pirate trade convoys I think we could be a threat to them we are definitely cooperative with pirates so I think he was just being a little bit over anxious as you can see, we are still hated by absolutely everyone else. Hopefully that um, pirate fleet will get where he's going safely. Okay, looks like we are now pretty much fully repaired. Now we can see on the left hand side there that the invasion force has arrived in the system. And as they're coming to us, there's no need for us to go hunting for them. I do like seeing these little pirate fleets buzzing around. It fills me with pride. Look how far we've come. Ah, here we go. Alright. So they have a legion, two eagles, a falcon, about five destroyers. Uh, it doesn't look like it'd be too tough. I think we should be able to take these guys on. We're going to be a lot faster than most of their ships. So if we can keep our guys together, we should be able to um, avoid the Legion. Take out the destroyers, take out the cruisers. And I think we'll actually take the Doom this time, just for fun. I'll bring in the Odyssey, bring in a couple of... Uh, let's bring in some Tempests. Trying to decide between Omens and the Monitor. I think we're taking the Monitor, particularly because he has an officer on board. I have actually forgotten to field the rest of my officers, which is another silly mistake, but we'll fix that at some point. So we want to bring our Odyssey kind of central and send our frigates out to capture these points. And we'll get the Monitor to defend us, because as a Doom we are quite fragile, as I have learned the hard way many, many times. So we will just phase forward into battle. And then the idea is to use the Alpha Strike potential of the Doom to pick off some of the enemy destroyers and maybe a cruiser or two. And then we can mob up and surround the Legion once it's uh, lost its support. So it looks like Tempest versus Omen. There's an early battle going on here. We will run to support them and also help capture this point. The other two points are already in our control, so we can bring on a couple more ships. I think, I think we will use the opportunity to bring on the three omens to add extra point defense to the Odyssey and just generally give us a little bit more survivability. So just assigning the Tempest and the Odyssey to try to eliminate that kite while we capture this point. Okay, there's an enforcer there. This wolf is getting rather close, he's going to have to phase away. We will use mines against the Enforcer. I find that slow ships like the Enforcer have a lot of trouble trying to avoid mines. This Gremlin will be able to phase out of the way of this, although one hit would kill it, so it's worth sending a couple of his way as well. Okay, we're going to bring in a Medusa. Make sure our omens are doing their job and escorting the bigger ships. Okay, now. 
Can I move in on this enforcer? See if we can take him out. We don't want our fleet to get too spread out, but as long as the majority of them stay quite close to the Odyssey, they should all be um, pretty survivable and won't need babysitting too much. We launched a few mines behind the enforcer and tried to shoot it from the front when it moved its shields. I think what we need to do is yeah, consolidate and um, get together again. So we're going to come back down here. So we do have a Sunder coming at us. Sunders are usually priority targets just because they're such glass cannons. They can deal out a lot of damage and they're quite easy to kill. So first we will surround this enforcer with mines and then hit it with some blasters. Both the first two shots miss. Then we're able to follow up. And he's going to go down to these frigates. So I think we'll back away, let them get the kill. We want to make sure to protect our own carrier. Okay, the Odyssey is going face to face with the Legion, which is not the best plan. I'd rather he comes up here and helps take out this um, eagle first. He's got three reapers coming at him. Uh, I think they all went down to point defense. The Odyssey does have pretty good point defense. And he also has those um, little spark fighters that also have good point defense. And they can kind of babysit it a little bit. We're going to try to get behind this eagle if we can. While our frigates and Medusa come in. Policy is taking his time getting to position. He will also be adding his weapons to the fight very soon. This eagle is getting pretty high on flux, but so are we. So we are going to back off and try and vent while the rest of our ships move in and kill this guy. Hurricane comes in, finishes off the eagle. Wolf just down to the south there, getting uh, beamed to death by the Odyssey. Can he escape? County phased away. Looks like the Legion is pretty defenseless now. Maybe worth going in and trying to kill it. He's got pretty good shields and he's got very good armor, but if we can get behind him with the Doom, we'll be able to take out his engines hopefully. And then he will be vulnerable just to the mass firepower coming down on him, especially as the Odyssey gets involved. High intensity laser coming in, and we'd like to see a bit of tachyon lance action too. So we're going to get behind it, we're going to try to use heavy blasters to take out its engines. We are getting high on flux too, we're going to have to back away again. I want to vent before we get overloaded. And then we make a big mistake here, and I forget that the Legion is always dangerous, he can fire <laughs> Reapers at. Um, quite oblique angles, and he does manage to take me out, which was yet another lesson for me to learn about the Doom and how vulnerable it is, and things like that. It's my fault for venting when I wasn't pretty safe. We do at least manage to take down the Legion. And, but that's pretty much the end of the enemy fleet. They've just got Falcon and Eagle, and I think three, maybe four destroyers left. We are going to zip into our Odyssey and uh, take control of it to finish the rest of this fight. So Sunder, as I said, is always a priority. We will try to get our broadside weapons to bear on it as soon as we can. We're going to send six Sabre missiles after it and then Plasma Burn a little bit closer into range. Hurricane takes it down to half hull. Just to turn. And the beams will do their job. Okay, we're getting a little bit separated here. We would like to get back into some sort of formation. A few rockets coming our way. Nothing too threatening. We're just going to push on and see if we can um, overwhelm this Falcon. I don't know if it will be able to run away from me. Our flux is very high, but with the amount of missiles we can send out, we're able to kill it off pretty much single handedly. The force is a lot slower than a Falcon. We should be able to kill this guy too. We may need some help from uh, some of these fighter ships. 
This guy is pretty much on his own. He's become separated from his wolf pack. Uh, Tempest are uh, running out of combat readiness. I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. So that's two enforcers left, and they've still got an eagle in the back and a hammerhead. Six more sabers going out. Not sure where they're going. I'm going to focus on the hammerhead again, similar to the Sunder, but to a lesser degree. It also has uh, large damage potential and is relatively easy to kill. So, we send a hurricane after him. It's been overloaded. Let's just oh, ask my burn into range. Let's take him down with our beams. Forces next. Really tough armor, but again, the hurricane's going to do its job, I think. Overloads it. Let's get our Tachyon Lance on target, and here comes seven torpedoes to destroy it from our daggers and uh, trident bombers. Okay, Tempest is taking on this eagle face first. Needs to uh, try and get behind it or back away or it's going to get killed. Fighters coming in, overwhelming the eagle. Torpedoes coming in, power again. More torpedoes. And that's the end of the eagle. So we'll just speed up the end of the battle. There's one more um, enforcer and what looks like a gremlin phase frigate. Gremlin's down. Enforcer. He's getting mobbed by frigates and medusas. And I think we'll just claim victory there. So we're going to pursue their cargo ships because I'd like to try and steal that atlas if we could. Send in some falcons and sunders. And we are going to recover our doom. And then we're going to spend a story point to recover this atlas super freighter. Which will put us up to a total of two atlases. I think it's very soon going to be time to sell off all of our pirate mules which are no longer going to be the most efficient way for us to carry around our cargo and now we have capital ships we can uh, worry a lot less about being sneaky and um, just be a much more belligerent force in the sector I don't think there's many uh, enemy fleets that can take us on now once we've got our, our full fleet and that's actually even more true now, for reasons that will become clear very soon. Just have a quick look at these missions. So we will take this bounty target. 110,000 reward. We might not do it, but if we come across it, we will. And we will also take this smuggling mission. We need to take it to Yama, which is, I think, a hegemony world. It shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, so we have this atlas, I would like to restore it and then we can fit it out. We don't currently have a huge amount of cash reserves, but we could just about afford, I think, to restore both the Astro and the atlas. But, not that necessary right now because we do also have this Paragon. Unfortunately, um, I lost the end of the recording on the last session, so we missed the battle in which we got this. We did capture it. We got attacked by a tri tac security fleet and um, we managed to recover the Paragon. So, we do now have the most powerful ship in the vanilla game. And I'm actually going to uh, remove these Reapers because I think they're a little bit pointless. Um, we've fitted it out as a long range beam platform. I'm actually going to take out these plasma cans as well and replace them with more beams. Uh, or maybe actually we will take the order pass lasers. Finally, this is just for the extra ordnance points, but also the plasma cannon is very flux intensive. I think we'll put the order pass lasers in here. And then we've got twin tachyon lances and these two ion beams, together with some uh, tactical lasers and some graviton beams. That's a lot of sustained pressure we can put on the enemy. And then we have some burst capability with the order passes on shields and the tachyon lances for um, taking down armor and hull. We're also giving it unstable injectors and auxiliary thrusters to give it as much maneuverability and speed as possible. Um, 
paragon is not exactly a dainty creature so I like it being able to turn a little bit faster and I think along with the accelerated shields this paragon is more or less good to go however we have 10 ordnance points left over and so I'm just thinking what else would be useful really I think I'm tempted by the ECM package because as a capital ship it will give me an extra 5% ECM rating which will increase our range and given we are fitting this out for range anyway and we have a few capital ships now I think that's really gonna help give us an advantage in the big fleet battles and if we find any uh, big remnant fleets. So we now have I think five capital ships. We've got the Paragon, the Odyssey, two Conquests and the Astral which is probably enough now to even take on the uh, Star Fortress protecting Kazaron and we can kill off the Pazimli for good. Okay, for some reason we have a lot of ore in storage so we're going to pick that up along with this crew. And I just realised there's no market in this station. I'm not too sure why that is. I think... Yeah, I think I took over governorship for this and I can't remember why or even how it happened. I'm just going to see that back. I don't want to take control of Kami. I'm quite happy for that to be run by the pirates and then we can sell things here. We can sell off this ore we don't need. So we're going to store this AI core and a bunch of these weapons we don't need, and also this synchrotron. Sell the prisoner. I'm also going to sell off some of my arms. I don't need more than 2,000, so I'll sell off 700 of that. Give us a little bit of extra cash, and then we can restore both of these ships. The main one here is this defective manufacturer that basically makes your fighters much weaker and given that the Astral is fielding six wings of them we want them to be as strong as possible we're going to take out the expanded missile racks and stick on the expanded deck crew and I'm basically going to fit this out just to um, attack this station so we want Trident Bombers which have two Atropos torpedoes each and I think maybe three wings of daggers each have one torpedo and then maybe a couple of longbows so the longbows can fire their sabers, take down shields and then massive torpedo volley to uh, finish off whatever this is attacking I'm going to get rid of all its weapons and just have a look and see what we want we're not going to put hardly any weapons on this because we don't have the ordnance points we'll put on a hurricane and a squall so it's got a bit strong missiles and now we only have points left really for some uh, point defense lasers. So we'll put a burst on the front. We have to drop down these caps and vent a little bit. Two burst point defense lasers on the front and if we go for regular PD then we can fit two in. Okay, I think that'll do. And hopefully it will stay nice and far away from the battle and send in his bombers. Okay, we need to get some crew. Other than that, I think we are pretty ready. We'll get rid of some of these ships we don't need. So we're not going to need the Hyperion, we're not going to need these destroyers because I'm not sending them up against the station that big. Same with the drovers. And we don't need the mules. Don't need these cruisers, don't need these frigates. I need my extra troop ship. So we've just got Falcons and one Eagle, the Champions, the Capital ships, a few Medusas that are really good PD ships and they've got enough shields and maneuverability to escape from stations, and then Tempest and an Omen and a Monitor for support. Okay, let's go and see if we can win this. Now I'm not sure I can win this battle and I'm trying to play this without saves coming at all. So whatever I lose here is going to stay lost. And we do have a few nice rare ships that I don't want to lose. Okay, I think we're going to first of all try and avoid anything like this massive 
um, special task group. But maybe try and kill off some of the smaller fleets like this patrol. Okay, we can take this guy on. Most of this is just to reduce the amount of ships flying around the system that may want to support the station. Uh, I think we'll try and use the smaller ships to, to uh, kill these patrols. We'll fly a Tempest. And I think against all of this, if we just go in with mostly frigates, we can kill all their support and then go after the Apogee and just uh, surround it. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll take a Medusa as well. And they are running away, so this is actually a pursuit I could have come from the sides, which uh, I neglected to do. But we should be able to take out most of their ships anyway. I'm not going to waste time trying to chase down that gremlin, he'll just phase away. We are going to avoid the Apogee, kind of bypass it. They also have a Fury, which is a high-tech uh, cruiser, I think. I haven't used Furies too much, they're quite a new addition. And so we'll probably leave him till the end as well. That Shrike is a good first target. We'll send in a group eliminate order and um, persuade everyone to close in on this guy. Well, there's the Fury. We definitely want to keep our distance from him. At least till we can um, surround him. We do have quite a few Tempests coming in, he's going to find it hard to bully us. I'm going to back off a little bit. They have an enemy Tempest as well. Shrike is overloaded, going to go down. So let's see what else they've got. Actually, I think it may be time to just go after this Fury. He's got six Tempests closing in on him and a Medusa. So he is backing off quite wisely. He won't be able to um, keep us away from him for too long. And now the wolf pack descends on him. Okay, the fury is down. We will block off this um, apogee and stop him from retreating. Mass rockets are not going to do anything against Medusa. He's got too much of a good shield for that. We can surround him, take out his engines. And the little tanker is running. Is he going to escape? I put you down. Tanker is probably not going to be able to escape this. And I'm going to send someone after the uh, gremlin, but he will definitely escape. I wonder if he'll run back to Kazaran and warn them that we're coming. Okay, so actually quite a few of their ships escaped. We don't want to recover the strike, so we'll just take their salvage. So they're avoiding contact, they may run back. Might be worth trying to finish them off, but let's see what have we got here. We've got one patrol with a few uh, light cruisers. This guy's coming very close to me. I probably, probably should just kill him off. Let's try and do that. I think we can. We'll do a pursuit. They have two tempests and some wolves. So they're going to be hard to catch. That's coming from the sides. Actually, I forgot to take over control of one of them, so we're going to have to fly in on our little command pod. Okay, can we stop any of them from escaping? First wolf has been spotted. I'll get these guys to follow me. Okay, there's a tempest, another tempest, 
And is that a tanker? Two tempests and a wolf. Now I'm going to be a little, a little bit careful here and wait for my wing to join me. Okay, these guys have got through. <laughs> At least the gremlin did. I guess the gremlin can phase. We're going to take on this tempest face to face. So it's pulse laser and phase lance versus whatever he's got. He's also got a pulse laser. Okay. He's killed my drone. But he's fluxing out. No, oh, he's almost got me. Okay. Uh, I got very, very close at this point. I managed to get the overload on him. He was no longer able to fire, <laughs> but his drones killed me. Uh, which is yeah, another benefit of the Tempest is they can kill you even when they're overloaded. So I was forced to um, jump into another Tempest. I can take on this wolf with a little bit more confidence, uh, especially as I've got two other Tempests backing me up. Yeah, we did lose the one Tempest there. But we can manage without one. That's fine. We've got quite a few. This Tempest is just meekly allowing the wolf to shoot. Just to back off a little bit. This wolf needs to escape. He fails to do so. Tempest and a wolf and a gremlin left. Take on this one as well. And my new ship has a heavy blaster, and I think an ion beam is enough to take on the wolf. And the gremlin is running for his life. Let's see if we can catch him. Yeah, we're almost as fast as him as when he's phased. So. We should be able to get him as soon as he comes out. It's like the wolves chasing down the tired sheep. And he is destroyed. His carcass left to float across space. Okay, can we kill off any other patrols? This guy's pursuing me. Not too sure how he noticed me. That's a relief convoy, don't need to worry about that. Although it would be nice to take it on and salvage it. I'm just trying to bait this guy a little bit out. I think that's probably far enough away from the station that we can take him. And he's not supported by his station, so we've got two champions and nothing else worth uh, mentioning. I think we might take in a falcon for this. So we've got the um, safety override falcon with chain gun and uh, heavy machine gun. We'll take in the second falcon with the longer range weapons and we will get our tempest to come in, cut them off. I think that should be enough. We're using these craft because I'm less likely to want to use them against the station. So it's a bit like a football coach using his weaker players before the big match. Okay, for some reason he's managed to get a massive head start again. I'm way behind. I don't know why that happens. But sometimes you just come in super slowly and your teammate just goes shooting up ahead. I think we will concentrate on killing off these champions as quick as we can. Given that they're the only ship here that I think can really give us any trouble. Quick Vigilance killed by the other Falcon there. Okay, we are going to need to get in a lot closer ourselves to start being effective. But once our, our frigates close in, they will have to turn and fight as they're doing. We'll go after the left hand one first, focus all our fire on that one. 
the Condor Carrier that is another priority target being attacked by a Lasher, but we can pretty much ignore that. Send some Sabre missiles after it. That is shield is to the other side of us, so we may as well just double reprint. Send in the Aftermath Blasters. Chain that's going to finish him off. Straight for the second champion. I'm trying to see what his heavy weapon is. I think it's an autopost laser. Yeah, there it is. Well, the Tempest has good shields. You can survive a good burst from an autopost. We're going to come in right behind it again. And we will give it another double reaper. And this time they get taken out en route. I think that was a little strike craft. I think we'll have to go back and watch that again. So yeah, we come in here fire the reapers and this guy thinks he's Finn out of uh, The Last Jedi, tries to save his uh, champion friend. Unfortunately it was totally in vain. Um, it was a brave move but it didn't stop us from um, defeating the champion. So we'll go full assault and it's just this Gemini left and maybe another couple of smaller ships. Honestly I think Gemini's are some of the least useful ships in the game. I think their role is supposed to be a kind of cheap all-rounder, but they end up being kind of jack of all trades, master of none. So my Reapers miss this time, but he gets taken out by the Tempests and the other Falcon, which is going to tank a couple of torpedo hits. And then we are going to go and chase down this Condor Carrier, I think that's all that's left. But he's heavily damaged, and our Reapers will swiftly close in and make short work of him. Terminator drones doing what they do best. So that's another patrol cleared. So I don't think we will bother recovering these champions. We already have two of them. I think that's probably enough, and they have quite a few demods. I don't want to spend the money restoring them. There's another fast picket here. We're going to intercept him outside the range of his station again. And so they have an Apogee, a Drover Carrier, and some pretty crappy frigates. I think we will pilot the Falcon again. Falcons are really fun ships to pilot. They're nice and fast, but they have a lot of firepower. So we'll take in the two regular Falcons, not the station cracking Quad Reaper specialists, and some Tempest to cut them off. We will target the Drover and we will send the Tempests to engage the Apogee. And again, my Wingman gets a boost at start and I'm left hanging around in the rear. We will try to catch up. This Broader is engaging the Falcon with some rockets, not really going to do a huge amount to deter it. And we will try and push on and just ignore him for now. Looks like the Alpha Falcon is turning to engage that brawler, which is not what I asked him to do, but... Star Sector AI kicks in. I guess he wants to just make sure we don't get our engines taken out. So we'll go down for this brawler. He's got his torpedo ships going after our Tempests. We're going to fire double Reapers. We probably should have waited for the Sabos to hit first. Sabos come in, overload the Drover. If we'd held on to those Reapers, this would have already been over. As it is, we have to just wait for the torpedo tubes to reload. And there they go. Drove it down. There is that Apogee. I think it's being mobbed by the Tempests. So yeah, they are chasing him down, pushing up his flux, using their ion weapons to take out his engines, some of his weapons, stop him from firing or escaping. Apogee down. And what do they have left? Most of their ships look like they're bugging out. They've got a Centurion and a Brawler left. I think they're going to escape. Shepard has already retreated. Can we chase down this Brawler? Centurion bugs out in the top right of the screen and the Brawler escapes as well. So I think that's the last patrol we need to destroy. 
and we can go ahead and assault the Star Fortress. We'll leave the Apogee, don't want to recover that. And let's go in and attack Kazaron. Now actually what happens here is we get engaged by the remaining ships from the fleet we just destroyed because they were within range of the station. So here we go. We're going to take in all five capital ships and we're going to just add the single omen we can afford. And the goal here is to surround this station because I think this midline Star Fortress is the most, uh, or one of the most dangerous things in the game to attack. And it has immense firepower, it has huge shields, it has separate modules underneath the shield, so you can't overload them all at once, you can't destroy a whole side at once. You have to pick off the little parts of it. And of course you can launch these mines. Not as many mines as the high-tech Star Fortress, but it also spins very fast. And I find that... Why is this compass firing two hurricanes for no reason? Because this station spins so fast, it's almost impossible... Oh, there goes an omen. Uh, is it worth bringing another one on? I don't think it is yet. The station spins so fast that it's very hard to maintain pressure on one section because if your ships are all on one side you're attacking that section but as it rotates you can't keep up with it. So then it has a chance to recover, reduces flux as it's out of your um, arc of fire. So we're going to try and kill off these ravelins first little drones that come with it. Once we've killed them, we will try to surround and maintain a huge amount of pressure on this station and that way hopefully we can start to do some real damage to it and once we've knocked out one or two sections it will become a hell of a lot easier. The Paragon is getting right up in its face which is fine. He has that fortress shield to protect him. He's taking a lot of damage on his shield but he should be able to back away. We are in the Odyssey here, we are trying to focus down this Ravelin, that's one down. The second on the left gets killed by the Conquest. So I think just the one left, on the left hand side of the screen there. A couple of brawlers up near the top here, I'm basically going to try and ignore them as much as I can. I've just kind of driven myself into the back of this Conquest, we need to go around the back of it if we can. And in turn... Like we can use the Plasma Burn to get out of that little situation. Conquest is tanking a lot of fire for us, which is good. We can keep a nice low flux level. I'm just going to focus on this brawler a little bit. They're a bit of an annoyance. If we can kill them off quickly, then we can focus back on the station again. Nice and fast. As that Tachyon Lance comes in, should be the lights out for this little brawler. But again, I don't want to get distracted, so I'm actually going to leave him. He's taking quite a lot of damage. We can shoot this other brawler for a while, and then what I really want to do is come in and help out my other capital ships to kill off this Ravelin drone. And we now have ships on both sides of the Star Fortress, so hopefully we can start putting in some real damage uh, on its hull. You can't actually command your ships to target individual parts of the station, which is unfortunate, but there is a lot of damage coming in on this. One, two, three, four hurricanes coming in at once from different angles. The Squall multi-launch rocket system coming in from the Astral, as well as all of its torpedo bombers. Multiple beams coming in from the Paragon and the Odyssey. Plus, of course, the Conquest with its large ballistics. We've still got five deployment points, so we are going to replace the Omen that got destroyed and just ask it to defend me, mostly because we've got those brawlers on our offside, uh, picking away a little bit. Defend that a little bit. Still rotating, we're still trying to make sure we've got fire coming in on all sides of the station at once. And, and the flux is going up, so soon we will be able to start really getting some damage on here. It's been overloaded, so let's get that tacky on that's going. Get some damage on the hull. Torpedo's coming in. I think one section's been at least slightly destroyed. There's another explosion. We're able to keep our shields down for some of the time, but we have to be careful we don't um, get destroyed ourselves. We've taken quite a bit of damage. You can see here, the first section does go down. One of the end sections has been completely destroyed, which is going to negate a lot of the firepower tech coming our way. The second end station has been overloaded. Mass torpedo volley from the Astro bomb is doing that. 
the Conquest and Paragon can put in some extra damage, that would be great. Sabres and Hurricanes coming in, and really the key here is to time your missile launches for the Hurricanes so if they do hit into the hull, or rather miss it completely if you're in the wrong angle. Second section is almost down. So both end sections are now being destroyed, but we may have a good chance here. And a smaller section explodes. And we'll make sure we keep on all sides of it if we can. Hurricane goes in, that was well timed. More Sabos driving up its flux. Beam weapons on all sides. Now a small section of armor explodes. Now at this point I'm starting to feel a lot more confident about this fight. Another hurricane comes in, bypasses the shield. One section is heavily damaged, the other side is still pretty much uh, brand new, but it now has been overloaded, we can get some damage in on it. Another hurricane, is this one going to miss? Well, at least half of them hit. Torpedoes on the other side, along with all the weaponry from the Paragon, but his conquest, I think he had some flux to spare, I don't know why he didn't put a shield up. He had a shield on the other side, I think, to defend against mines, and he does go down. So we've lost one conquest, that's about 20% of our damage potential gone. I think we've still got um, more than enough to finish this off. But this side particularly is still at full capacity. A lot of torpedoes coming in. And here comes another wave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Torpedoes at once, maybe nine. Sabos hit. And more torpedoes getting launched, three more to finish off this side. So the station I believe is now down to just the one main section. And um, it's starting to look a bit like a sitting duck. We have four capital ships on one side. We can take a little breather, take off these gunships while we have the opportunity. One down. Shepard is way, way out of his league. <laughs> he just gets annihilated by about 12 torpedoes. Uh, which is pretty much the definition of overkill. And the four remaining torpedoes retarget the station. With the conquest down, we can bring in a few more ships. So we will deploy the three Medusas just to add a little bit of extra DPS and give us some more point defense. Very useful against these mines. More torpedoes coming in. And we are going to try to get on the other side of the station from the Paragon so we can maintain fire on the system as much as we can. Fire a hurricane, it's going to do some damage, although a lot of it got taken out by point defense. I actually counted it was taking damage from about 17 beam weapons at this moment. And not even a station this tough can stand up to that kind of punishment. We are just trying to get ourselves into a good position on the other side of the station from the Paragon. And it was at this point that I think the battle station commander knew he was doomed. And we did receive a message of defiant surrender. I think I'll play you their message in full, as well as our response to it. Say, get your feet!
Okay, and we are back. I thought I would just let that play out so you could listen to the destruction of the Pazine League Star Fortress. And there's a nice little lament at the end of that clip. Just wanted to pay my respects to those who fell. And we did manage to raid and steal the pristine Nano Forge, so we've got hold of that and we have now invaded. I'm just sped this up because it's not a difficult fight and you've seen me do this a bunch of times so I thought we'd speed through this as fast as possible to get the invasion done. We've had to um, avoid a lot of these fleets who obviously want vengeance against us but we have landed our marines on the planet um, so we don't need to be physically in orbit to order them around. And we've just got one or two seconds left to take. We actually make a small mistake here and leave the military base undefended so we will need to retake that but it won't take long we have plenty of troops on the ground and we do actually get intercepted by this defensive patrol fleet and I think we will destroy them just the final lesson for the Pazin League to learn that you don't mess with the pirates anymore not in this sector so they've got a couple of falcons, a griffin, a couple of carriers I haven't piloted the conquest this session, so I thought I would take it into battle, back it up with the Astral, and a few fast frigates to capture some points. So I get the Medusa and the Astral just to support me while the Tempests capture. And as soon as this invasion is complete, I think that will be the end of the Pazian League. It'll be quite sad to see them go. They've been a worthy opponent. I believe their surviving fleets will stay around until destroyed. They won't just disappear. But I don't think they'll be able to generate new fleets. So it might be worth hunting the rest of them down and eradicating them. Stealing as many of their ships as possible. Okay, we've got a few more deployment points now. So I think we will bring in a couple of Falcons, another Medusa and an Omen. You know they've got a couple of carriers and a Griffin missile cruiser, so having adequate point defence is important. We're going to get the majority of our craft just to escort us, and then we will lay down as much damage as we can. Here comes their fleet. We've sent the Medusa after this frigate on the left hand side contesting the point. We've got another Tempest contesting the point at the top right. These two Falcons squaring up against our Medusa. We're going to move in, fire our maneuvering jets to get within range, and we will turn and get our broadside to bear. A few blasters on the nose seeing off this uh, small combat freighter. I have a Sunder. I'd like to try to avoid that. And another Sunder coming in from the north along with a bunch of strike craft firing rockets at me but they will explode harmlessly on the shield. Our Falcons are engaging their Falcon on the left hand side there. We're going to bring our Medusa and Tempest into the fold. And I think we'll chase after this Falcon here, if we can. The Squall rockets from the Atlas coming in, some of them missing. It's a little bit too easy to dodge the uh, Squall. Uh, actually, I think we might just focus on this Griffin. A uh, couple of Hurricanes to go in, first of all. And I think one thing I need to do is switch out the Salamanders on this Conquest for Sabos because that's so effective on the Odyssey. I think it would work just as well on the Conquest. Salaman is not really doing a huge amount for me. If we could um, burst enemy shields with some uh, Sabo volleys, I think that would be good. Reaper comes in from the Trova. We managed to destroy it with point defense. Lots of uh, little conflicts going on all over the screen. Okay, so these three craft up here, the Griffin, the Sander, and the Trova, are all priorities. Yeah, Salamander's going off, but they just tend to get shot by point defense. I feel like Sabos are harder to kill 
uh, with point defense, so I think that's another good reason to swap them out. I'm going to get our whole fleet to escort me again, just to um, rally in one position, and then we will try to cut off some of the guys to our left, while we attack these guys in the north. That little combat freighter did go down, unsurprisingly. Medusa is pretty uh, fluxed out, but the Griffin is going to go down now to double hurricanes and then follow it up with some Gorse Cannon shots. There it goes, another Cerberus combat freighter, in fact two more of them. The combat freighter is not really going to trouble us too much. This Sunder has lost his engines, it's going to go down pretty quickly to ballistics and missiles. Hurricanes come in and finish it off. And now we have split their fleet up quite handily. So we've got a mule here with a condor behind it. Launching a couple of strike craft ladders, but I think they're armed with rockets. And uh, not too much of a threat. Falcon sends out a couple of Reapers that do manage to overload the condor. Gorse cannon shots coming in, missing a little bit. I want to aim at the condor, but and it doesn't matter. Here comes some hurricanes. The condor just survives. A couple of ships to our right hand side. The condor gets overloaded again, and this time the course cannon is enough to take it out. Now our astral gets separated here and I fail to realise this and I really should be moving in right now to defend it but, um, but I had a bit of tunnel vision going on and I was just focusing on trying to kill this Sunder um, and maybe the Drover and did not realise that the Atlas was getting attacked with all these torpedoes, uh, pulse lasers, lots of stuff going in on it. Uh, it does actually get the same old. So um, hopefully we can recover that. Yeah, there goes the Atlas. That was a mistake. There's no reason I should have lost that. I should have been a lot more careful. And uh, remember, it's a slow craft. And also, that it's been fitted out to attack station. So it doesn't have a lot of defensive weapons, which it would normally have. So we will avenge it. And uh, hopefully we can recover it. Because finding an Astral is not easy. They're quite rare. And I was pretty happy to find that one. It would be a shame to lose it so quickly. Moving in, turning now to allow our guns to bear on this Falcon. Double Hurricane's coming in again. Managed to overload it. And then, see, what I like about the Gauze Cannon is it's great against shields, but it has such high damage numbers that even at long range it can destroy armor, destroy hull, together with the heavy maulers. It doesn't take long to take down even a Falcon. Drover is under siege, gets destroyed. They've got another drover on the left, Sunder on the right. If we can focus down those two nice and quickly, and then we can mop up the rest. So firing two more hurricanes after this Sunder. Still got his full shield, so they're not going to kill it off, but they do raise the flux. And then a Reaper from the Falcon overloads it. And I don't think they need any more help from me, so they can finish that off. There he goes. There's a Lasher, a Mule, and a Drover over here. Just speed this up, I think, because I want to move on to the rest of the invasion. Send in an eliminate order. Don't kill off this mule. And then this is, is that Lasher running away? I think he is. Driver can't really run, it's too slow. And I think we will let the Lasher get away this time. Okay, can we recover our Atlas? Yes we can, okay, it will cost me a story point. Do we want to spend a story point on an omen as well? I think we do, and we'll also get this first Sunder, because it only has the one D mod and it's a glitch sensor array. It doesn't really matter too much, so it's a free Sunder. And let's see how we're doing with our invasion. I'm not going to fight this fleet, I don't need to. And there we go. Market captured, Kazaron now under pirate control. Freedom Council dissolved. Faction eliminated, Bazin Lee. 
So, they no longer have the ability to build fleets. I think that is the end of them as a faction. I'm not too sure what their surviving fleets will do, but presumably they'll still be around until they get destroyed. Okay, we have a mercenary officer here asking us to spend a story point to extend her contract. I think I'm going to leave that though, to be honest, because oh, we tried totting her off. It didn't really work. I thought maybe that could intimidate her into staying. She has left, but that's fine. I'm a bit low on story points. I'm quite happy to take the loss of an officer um, until we at least get a few more story points back. And we have captured Kazaron for the pirates. We'll pick up our war spoils, sell off everything we don't need. So metals, organics, food, uh, some of this heavy machinery we don't need. And I think that's fine. We have this pristine nano forge now, so once we do get a colony, we should be able to make some good quality ships, and I think. This station has an orbital works. And if we do take one for ourselves, I think it will be this one. And maybe we'll do that in the next session or two once we've built up a little bit more of a cash reserve. So the fleet managed to take down a midline star fortress. And that's one major objective now completed in this playthrough. We're going to spend the next couple of sessions, I think, just building up some cash getting ourselves um, reorganized and then we will be going after our next target. If you want to let me know in the comments who you'd like me to go after next, it's really between the Ludic Church, uh, Hegemony and Tritac to be our next um, declaration of war. I'm quite happy keeping the independents as they are. In fact, I've even tried to keep a couple of independent stations in systems that I've taken control of because it's a good way to make sure I've always got a good source of supplies, fuel, things like that, because I can raid them rather than having to buy stuff from markets. Uh, I like kind of keeping them there, it's almost like the Mafia, you know. You can have your little shop, you can have your little market, but you will have to pay tribute and you're going to have to let me raid you whenever I want. And basically running a protection racket. So just checking the missions here, uh, nothing too interesting from this person, they want to sell me the possible location of a blueprint. I'm actually going to give them the 50 grand to see if they can come up with something better. I think that takes a while to come into operation. I'm not really too sure how it works. But maybe they can find something more interesting for me. This guy wants me to bring a spaceport offline. We'll take that mission. And then we will leave. So we could fight some of these remaining Pazian League fleets, but really I kind of want them to hang around for a bit. And they've just witnessed the destruction of their star fortress and the invasion of their home planet, so. I think we will just let them stew in that for a bit and we will leave and head back to our own home system and head into Canny. We want to drop off some of our fleet that we don't need anymore. We're no longer going to be fighting stations. We will meet up with our contacts, get some jobs for the next session and then basically we want to try and complete as many jobs as we can while also hunting down any lucrative convoys that we see so that we can get our cash reserves up and then maybe we can take control of Kazaran ourselves, and then we will try to build it up as a defensive fortress and shipbuilding production powerhouse and then we can continue our campaign of conquest okay we have just failed a bounty mission there but that's fine wasn't the most important thing so we'll repair and going to drop off some of these weapons we no longer need, sell the prisoner, and we will store the Nano Forge along with our Alpha Core, and for ships we're going to store the Paragon, we'll keep the Odyssey, I enjoy flying that, we'll store the two Conquests, the Eagle, and I think the two Champions as well, and the Falcons. And I think we will try to roll with a mostly high-tech fleet. We're probably not going to need the Herons, now we have the Astral. We'll store this Sunder for the moment too. So we've just got Frigates, the Astral, the Odyssey and three Medusas. Plus logistic ships. Nothing we want to buy. And I still haven't seen any uh, use by the pirates of the blueprints that I sold them on the black market, so I don't know exactly how long that takes to come into effect. 
but they should be producing from those blueprints at some point. Okay, we'll drop off the crew we don't need. In fact, we might as well sell some of this crew so we don't have to keep paying their wages. Uh, we will drop off some of this fuel as well. Okay, I think we're good to go. We have a smuggling mission to complete, so we'll properly prioritize that. And I think we have also have some disrupt missions, so we'll go after them as well. We'll do a final repair and then undock. And we will jump out of the system and head off to complete one of those missions. Keep an eye out for uh, any good targets. But whatever happens next is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you all very much for watching. I think that was quite a successful episode. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.